Let's talk college football Heisman Trophy odds. <laughs> All right. It's brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They have got six awesome sports books. You guys know the deal. Go over to tunicatravel.com to find more information on them. We will be at Sam's Town on March 21st and March 22nd. That's a Thursday and a Friday. The first two days of the NCAA tournament, we're broadcasting live at 10 a.m. each day, and then we're going to do it again before the afternoon slate of games. Both days, we're staying the night at Sam's Town on Thursday night. We want you guys to come and hang out with us. Get your room. Come and hang out. We're going to be at the Sportsbook all day watching basketball, putting money on some games. It's going to be a good time. We might go down and get us a steak at some point. You know, we'll see how that goes, whatever. Because we, we'll have to eat at some point. Gotta eat. But, uh, but honestly, the food that's inside the sports book, it's good. Really good. Yeah. Really good. And really good deals on them. Really good uh, beverage deals. I mean, you get a domestic beer for two bucks. Like, it's a, you just come and hang out all day with us. Sam's Town, March 21st, March 22nd. We got an RSVP thing on the Facebook. Go on and knock that thing out. Tell us you're coming. We would love to see you there. Let's talk about Heisman Trophy odds because you can bet on this while you're Sam's Town with us. We're a long way from this. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. This is from the Superbook at the Westgate in Las Vegas. Okay. These came out on February 26th. We're recording on Wednesday night, February 27th. Let's talk about some names on this. Uh, The top five right now. Tua, he is the favorite. Trevor Lawrence, Jalen Hurts, Justin Fields, Adrian Martinez from Nebraska. Now, that's a little surprising, I think. Yes. Uh, after that, they got Jonathan Taylor. They got Jerry Judy from Alabama at 30-1. to 1. Jonathan Taylor's at 15-1. to 1. By the way, here's the, the numbers on these. Tua is 5-2, uh, is to two, so 2.5-1. Two to one. Trevor Lawrence, 3-1. to one. Jalen Hurts is 6-1 to one, uh, at Oklahoma now, not Alabama. Justin Fields at Ohio State, not Georgia. The, he is 6-1. to one. Adrian Martinez at Nebraska is also 6-1, to one, which, again... Doesn't make a whole lot of sense because I don't think Nebraska is going to be very good. But I mean, he could put up some crazy numbers in Scott Frost's offense. True. Okay. So long as he doesn't get hurt again. But you know, we'll just see. Uh, Jonathan Taylor at Wisconsin is fifteen to one. Jerry Judy thirty to one. Alan Bowman from Texas Tech with a new head coach and not a ton of talent around him. They've got him at 40 to 1. In a completely new system. I mean, wasn't the whole purpose of making the change is we want to get away from the air raid? Yeah. So we think they're going to run a new offensive system that's going to be more efficient and. Don't you wish you could big fade? Numbers produ- yes. There's multiple people on here I would fade. All right. Now, what about Justin Herbert, Oregon? Uh, they got no, him would, 30 to 1. I wouldn't fade him. At 30 to 1, I actually like those. I like those. I mean, it's. I mean, it's. I think he can put up big numbers there. Nobody scares me in the Pac-12 if he makes. If they make a run and they're greatly improved, does Oregon play anybody that one? is non-conference? Like, I don't know. I don't. What's their non-conference look like? Well, that's what I was going to bring up, but I, I can't get my stuff to work. Uh, Oregon, 2019 football schedule. Uh, I don't know about. I mean, they they play nine conference games, right? Well, yes, they have to play. Oh, you said they play nine or non? Nine. Oh, I don't know that. I'd say yes, they have to play non conference games. Oh, here we go. Oh. Open up against Woo. Auburn in Arlington, Texas. Woo. I didn't know that. That's a, that I could be fun. That. that could that could easily set him up yeah. to say, hey, watch out. I'm about to have a year. Uh, but see, here's okay, so here's the the problem. Uh they got Nevada. They got Montana. Whatever they could, yeah. if they beat Auburn, they open up the Reno. Then they play at Stanford. Okay. They got a bye week. Then they play Cal, Colorado, at Washington, and then Washington State and at USC before another bye week. And then they've got Arizona at Arizona State and then Oregon State. Well, that's a conference. That's well, a yeah, conference. That's a, but but the uh, the away games are at Arizona State. Always tough. At USC. We'll see. I mean, obviously, USC's got talent, but, you know, we'll see. And then at Washington and at Stanford. That is a tough slate. Well, yes. At Washington and at Stanford, I do believe to be tough. Not that USC can't beat them. And not that USC won't be much improved. But Oregon, Oregon's a better team right now. Oregon's a better program right now. They just, they're just they just better than them. I mean, I, I agree with you. So it's not that they can't win those games. But 
but you know, that you can't go into this saying that scares me. That's who they got to play. They got to play their conference. All right. So Justin Herbert, I don't mind. I, I like. I mean, 30, that's pretty good odds. Thirty to one. Yeah, thirty to one. Uh, J T. Daniels from USC. Not a fan no, of that one. That's too tough. That. Uh, Jake Fromm from Georgia at forty to one. I, I maybe, but they run the I, ball just too damn much. I, I find this well that that might change because they got a new offensive coordinator. You know they lost Jim Chaney to Tennessee, so that could end up changing. Uh, I am curious. I mean, they've got Justin Fields at Ohio State at six to one, but then they got Fromm all the way back at forty to one. That's Ohio State bias. Well, agreed, but. Man, I mean, Fromm beat out. Ohio, like, Ohio State quarterback is always going to be in the running for the Heisman. I mean, you got a point. No matter what happens, that's just going to happen. Uh, A.J. Dillon from Boston College. I don't think uh, that's going to hold water too long. Travis Etienne from Clemson. I do think he'll put up big numbers. Yeah. I don't think he's going to hold water too long. No, I think you're probably right. Travis Etienne from Clemson. If you... tech, uh, Sam Ellinger, from these are all guys that are 40-1, to 1, by the way. Sam Ellinger from uh, from Texas. Okay. Okay. Uh, if tech, I mean Texas has got one of those big time brands. If they come, if they beat LSU at home in week two, you know he's got a legit chance of being, I guess, famous enough to win this award. Are there any non quarterbacks that you like that you actively like? I'm glad you asked that question. Here's the deal: of the last 18 seasons, 16 out of 18 Correct. were quarterbacks. It's a quarterback. Like it's a quarterback award. Right so if there's running backs on here, I don't know that I necessarily like. But them. is there any running back on here that you do like? Let's let's say you have to pick one of the one of the non quarterbacks to win this thing. Who do you like with the odds you get? Um, that's a great question. I wish I'd thought about it harder. Uh, Najee Harris from Alabama. Uh, Josh Jacobs is gone. Damian Harris is gone. It's going to be the Najee show. He's at eighty to one. Yeah, but Alabama's always going to run. But but three, Tua, four guys. but Tua is probably going to be. Well, that's it. But the, they're always the going to run three, four guys. Uh, DeAndre Was, Swift. You think, you think Wisconsin running back? I mean, I mean, remember? That. No, there's no chance that Jonathan Taylor. Like Ron Dane won it back in '96, but like he set all kind of NCAA records, all that. People don't look at stats as much nowadays because offenses are built to score more so than they were back then. Ron Dane was just a different kind of beast. Okay. Uh, Jonathan Taylor, it, I don't think it would matter what kind of numbers he puts up. I don't think Wisconsin's going to be that good. But if if they were, they, he could win. Wisconsin would have to be like 11-1 and one going wow. into the Big Ten championship game. Because it is... It is if he big. averages 150 yards a game... Yeah, but at that point, everybody wants to know why it's not 200. You know, I, I, I don't think... Like he would need to average more than 150 That's just to insane. just to break 2,000, and and he's broken 2,000 what two straight years? Yeah. So, you know, I I don't think that Jonathan Taylor has a puncher's chance okay. to get this thing. I could be wrong, but I don't think he does. Uh, I mean, who do you like here? I mean, I I like. I think DeAndre Swift, as long as he's not hurt, could be. Uh, if Purdue comes out and shocks I, I, everybody the way Louisville did a couple yeah. years ago, Rondale Moore could absolutely go at, at fifty to one. I would, I would, I would, I like Moore. Um, I don't like Swift. He shares the ball too much. Um, yeah, but who's I, he going to share with this year? Holyfield. No, Holyfield's gone. Holyfield's not gone. Holyfield. Holyfield just, entered the NFL draft. Did he really? Yeah. I thought Holyfield was just a sophomore last year. Let's see, Elijah Holyfield. Yeah, Elijah Holyfield declares for NFL draft. Oh, is he a so, redshirt sophomore? Uh, I think so. Oh, then that's why. I thought he was – I'm pretty sure he was a sophomore. I think he's a redshirt sophomore. Okay, so he was – all right, that's where I messed up that. Yep. Um, Ian Book definitely doesn't surprise me. If oh, no, he was a junior. Was good. Sorry, junior. Okay. So, either way. But Ian Book Ian Book would be on here just with the – where was he at? He's pretty far down here. You get really good right odds. There, right 60 there, 60 to 1. 60 to 1, a Notre Dame guy if – Back to back years at Notre Dame puts up big numbers. Goes undefeated. Goes undefeated again. I think it's going to be really hard to keep him off of it, and you're getting sixty to one odds. Uh, Shea Patterson at Michigan, hundred to one. It would have to depend on what the offense is doing. I, my they problem run is, a lot. I don't think they're going to run an offense that's going to make him look good. No, Jacob Eason at Washington. Yep, I like that. That's uh, that's a hundred to one. That's a, well, I like it because yeah. it's a hundred to one. 
Yeah, it's not, not that because I think we he's think win that it. he can win but it. Yeah, but yeah, if he wins it, may you get paid. And I like him a lot. Um, uh, who's the other guy on here? Oh, guy died dead last on thing. Bo Nix. We haven't seen him play a college football game. We don't know anything about him. But he is. I just like, believe in Gus Malzahn. I mean, I've wait, seen Gus Malzahn take nobodies, nobodies. Yeah, and and that offensive brain of his just does. Weird shit with them. Now, the only issue with that is when Gus is really on, he really likes running the football. Yeah, he does. And that's the only thing that would take it away. But um, I, I don't know anything about Bo Nix. I don't I, – I haven't seen him play a game. I just – you're getting 100 to 1 odds. These are long-shot dudes. You got Khalil Tate. At 100 to 1, you got Jake Bentley at 100 to 1, but then you got Felipe Franks at 200 to 1, Jalen Waddle from Alabama at 200 to 1, Joe Burrow from LSU, 200 to 1, no uh, Keaton Thompson from Mississippi State, 200 to 1. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, David Summers from Syracuse. There, there like, are that, who, maybe that's 100 to 1, too. That's there, are a couple, to one. there are a couple 100 to 1 guys that I might throw some cheese on just to see um, if they hit lightning in a bottle. Yeah, and that's I mean that's I mean what a little bit. Mean, you're, you're trying to hit a lottery ticket here, okay? Yeah. You're not you're not I'm not ever gonna bet this early in a season uh to a you know five to two. Like, yeah. like there's a really good chance that, you know, before week ten I could still get two at five to two. Yeah. Why would I bet it today when a million things could happen? Well, Jalen Hurts at six to one. I mean, you you get Oklahoma to come out and, and play a close game with Houston. That number's going to go up. And that number will be, you know, 20 to 1. That's right. That number will go way up. And then you can obviously play better on that. But they're, now, they're at no point in time, well, Eason or um, – oh, who was that? Who was Syracuse? Where did where they go? David Summers. Uh, trying to right find there. Him on here. 100 to 1. It's 100 to 1. David Summers, Eason, they're, after their first college game, if they have the game we think they're going to have, same thing with Bo Nix and, and – uh, Oh, and, and even the same thing with uh, with Ian Book at sixty to one. After their first game, these numbers are going to go down. Well, unless, so long as they so unless they, they look play. like crap. Uh, Washington, I mean, remember they don't have like last year they played Oregon, not Oregon. They played, they played Auburn. Auburn. Um, let's see, football schedules. So twenty nineteen Washington. I don't think they're playing a, a big non conference team. They play Eastern Washington. Uh, then they play California at home. They play Hawaii at home, and they play at BYU. Do they have a, a good non-conference game later in the season? No, they got nothing. Okay, so they just just don't play one. They play a bunch of couple. Well, that's and that's fine. that's what they. I mean, remember that was the big thing that. Yeah, that's uh, right. It, it was a big problem between Chris Peterson and ESPN. That's right. About them putting cupcakes on the on the sideline. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I mean, that's that's what happens. So they play at Stanford, at Arizona, at Oregon State, and at Colorado this year. Like if this would be a good year for Washington to uh, yeah. to go undefeated. Just just toss that out there. And if they do, if Jacob Eason is you got awesome, him at a hundred to one, and if Chris Peterson designs an offense for a guy that's a blue chip type quarterback, I mean anything could happen. These are lottery tickets. Yeah. But I'm I'm never going to be a guy that early on going to ever bet a favorite this early. Because those odds aren't going to change a lot. No, no, you're right. They're just not. Um, 13 out of the last 18 have used a red shirt. Now, it, that can be in a transfer. That can be all kind of different stuff. I was about stuff. to say, so many of those things could happen. I don't know how much I can read into but that. But if you're, if you're looking at quarterbacks or whatever that have red shirted, uh, I mean, who's had to sit out a season? Uh, did Justin Herbert was he a? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that I'm going to follow that trend. That might that might be what has happened, but I don't know that I'm going to follow that trend. I mean, Kyler, Baker, Lamar Jackson, all of them were red shirts. Shocking to me that Lamar was a red shirt. That's who was playing quarterback at Louisville that was keeping that guy off the field. I mean, you you got a point there. You got a real good point there. Uh, the other I don't know two, who would be. The other two are at a were at a premier school, and the quarterback before them went into the NFL. Jake Bentley didn't redshirt. 
No. Joe Burrow did, did not redshirt. Joe Burrow's not winning this thing. Uh, Austin Kendall, he uh, did he red, he redshirted, didn't he? He's a redshirt senior. He's a redshirt senior. He so West Virginia, I mean, that's that's Ooh. a possibility. When's the last time a senior's won this thing? That's a really good question. I bet that hadn't happened in a long time. I might be wrong, and it could have happened like three years ago, and I just didn't remember it. Let's see. Heisman Trophy winners, and we'll pull it up right now. Oh, was Baker a senior? Baker was a senior. Yeah, he sure Never was, mind. That was dumb. That yeah, was dumb. He was I, I literally forgot the guy that won it last year or the year before. Sorry. So I mean, here's here's our list. Um, you got Kyler last year, yeah. Baker Mayfield, Lamar Jackson. Uh, yeah, because Lamar was a, a redshirt sophomore. Yeah, then was... Derrick Henry, Marcus Mariota, Jameis Winston. Before Winston Baker, was it was a... a while before we had a senior. Let's see. Baker's in before Baker, it was Troy Smith in 2006. Ohio State. And before that, it was mainly a senior award. It was 2003. Yeah, it was all, yeah, it was all seniors yeah. then. 2003, Jason White, Carson Palmer year before that, Eric Crouch, Chris <laughs> Winky, Ron Dane, Ricky Williams. Uh, yeah, Charles a- Woodson beat out uh, Peyton, Peyton Manning. Manning. That was, yeah. That's the biggest sham of all of college football. All right, so all right. go on and come meet us March 21st, March 22nd down to Samstown. Get your bets in for the Heisman Trophy. You can take a it's, lottery ticket. It's a little early. But I mean, you put five bucks down on a hundred to one. It's never too early to take a lottery ticket. Yeah, I mean, you right about that. You just got to keep up with the ticket. Exactly. That's that's the way it goes. Uh, anybody else surprise you on here? I mean, Kellen Mond from Texas A and M. If they end up beating, uh, if if they if they finish the season ten like a, and two, ten or or eleven and one. Oh, that, I don't see that happening. If they finish the season ten and two, Kellen Mond is absolutely a Heisman Trophy. That schedule was freaking brutal. At Clemson, at Georgia, at, at LSU, LSU, and Bam Alabama at home. home. And Auburn at home. Yeah. Like, that, that's five games that nobody wants to play. No, you're right about that. Usually most teams have two of those a year. Well, I mean, and, and they still got South Carolina before Georgia. That's right. South like Carolina it, ain't going to be no you never, you never know what move, uh, what Muschamp's going to do. Coach Boom. All right, as always, like I said, come on down to Samstown, March 21st, March 22nd. Down in Tunica, Mississippi, we are going to be watching the NCAA tournament. You can get your Heisman Trophy bets in there. Uh, the show brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, South Superior Sports Gambling Destination. They've got six awesome sports books. You can find more information on them at tunicatravel.com. You can find more information about us at winningcureseverything.com. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.